There is a strong wind from the wasp. <laughs> it is best that we conceal ourselves in the bushes with the radio whilst you get the kite in the air. Here is the wire. I have the microphone and the earphones in the picnic basket with the tomatoes and the cucumbers. <laughs> Michelle must be mad. Does she not think the Germans will see a thing of that size? At 500 feet, it will be just like a little dot. Yvette and I will hold the coat in the ear. On the word go, we will lunch it. What do I do? Yeah. Take the wire and run into the wind as fast as you can. And good lick. <laughs> Are you ready? Get it up! Get it up! Stand by. One, two, through, go! <laughs> Going as fast as I can. Faster! <laughs> oh, well done, Rene! Let out the line! Already I am hearing the crackling. Hello, London! Hello, London! This is Nighthawk calling London. The wind, it, it is very strong up there. It is slipping through my hands. Get it up higher! Get it up higher! It is burning my fingers. I, I cannot... <laughs> Hello? Hello, London? Hello, London? This is Mrs. Nighthawk calling London. <laughs> you have done very things. We've lost our new waitress. Good stuff are so difficult to find. <laughs> Quick, follow that nin. <laughs> that will be the assembly area for 250 tanks. General, I know it's top secret, but when do we get to know the date for the invasion? Unfortunately, Hitler depends more on the advice of his astrologers than his generals. He claims to be waiting for a sign. When that sign arrives, he will invade. It is my opinion that we are not yet ready. <laughs> Would you regard a flying nun as a lucky omen? I should think he'd be off tomorrow. Why do you ask? No reason at all. 